हेलो गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट टूडे विल लास्ट जेन फर्स्ट टाइगर एंड द पोइम रोड साइज चैंड हैज बीन रिमूव फ्रॉम आवर सिलेबस सो आवर लास्ट पॉइम इज आंट जेनिफर्स टाइगर ओके लेट्स स्टार्ट द पोइम बिफोर स्टार्टिंग द पोइम वी विल लर्न समथिंग अबाउट पॉइंट पोइट नाम एंड्रीन रिच ओके द फीमेल राइटर फीमेल पोइट एंड्रीन रिच इन बाल्टीमोर Maryland, U.S., United States of America. She is widely known for her involvement in contemporary women's movement as a poet and theorist. She was published 19 volume of poetry, three collection of essays, and other writing. A strong resistance to racisms and militarisms echoes through her work. The poem "Aunt Jennifer Tiger" trend of married a woman. Okay, so. Andrew Rich is a United State American means American poetess, and he is well. She is a poet. She is a scientist, and she is a theorist. Okay, and a feminist. Feminist means uh, who always advocate and always struggle for the rights of a woman. And the Aunt Jennifer Tiger is also the poems who address express. women's experiences okay in this poem basically poet to express the inner feeling of a woman who survive in male dominated society and in this poem poet also compare a woman that is aunt jennifer okay uh, who is feared with her bad experiences with a tiger and fearless and also have the freedoms to live in his own house that is forest okay as we know in our society also you know uh, women have less rights in comparison to the female male okay and in our india a female sorry a girl child and a boy child From the bring up of a boy child, I guess a very disloved man of freedoms rather than a girl child, and this is very shameful for our society because both are equal and both of of the same parents, but some parents also make discrimination, give a lot of freedoms, give a lot of facilities to the boy child in compared to the girl child. So the poems is basically. the uh, burden of marriage life who always carry on okay all the responsibility of her married but uh, in return she can't get a single word of thanks okay so let's start the poem aunt jennifer mind it the aunt jennifer is not only the woman it is the representative of all married life married sorry married ladies married women aunt jennifer tiger dances across a screen bright topaz denizen of a world of green they do not feed the tree the pass in sleek calorie certainty okay in the first stanza the poet sorry poetess uh, talking about aunt jennifer tiger okay aunt jennifer draw a tiger on a cloth you can say embroidering a tiger with a picture of tiger that is not the real tiger in the picture the tiger stands 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 that means the words means Jumping over, okay. A clear screen, you can say, of cloth, the canvas, the background, okay. They are just looking like they are jumping from the screen, okay. Bright topaz, denizen of world of green, okay. The bright topaz, the word used for the tigers, okay. And compare with the to uh, bright topaz, bright and topaz. Topaz is a stone of yellow color, okay. That is used. 
as ornaments denizen you can see the dagalars of a world of green the tiger who are free and who are jumping across the screen they are looking like the jumping across the screen their color are bright and yellowish and they are the citizen they are the dog the forest they do not fear the man they do not fear the man beneath the tree it means the aunt jennifer's compare with he with the family male basically of a house but but the all the tiger they are on the screen they are on the canvas they have no fear they are not feared from the man the man who are sitting uh, who are standing near the tree it means the the poetess compare herself she always in a fear she always in pain she always is fearful okay in her okay all the man of family because the words man is not for the single one it's it's it is a symbolic use of uh, Male dominated society or uh, old of men's beneath the tree. It means the tiger is so fearless, he can't afraid. Okay, he can't get any afraid of of old men's. They are standing under the tree. It means he is walking in in sleek, erect certainty. The sleek what a very shining you can say, and kayak the word used for. Uh, just like the royal and brave and heroic person okay in doing the uh, kingdomship of any kings the persons and the king and the princes walk like that and any soldiers after victory of the battles move like that so the past in sleek and calmic and certainty certainty that means the full of confidence it means the poetess compared the walking the of the tiger the tigers this they are walking they are running okay with her sleek smooth calmic with the okay of brave it's full of it means the tiger is walking without to any fear with bravery with bravery and with bravery and as a hero full with full of confidence okay so but uh, aunt jennifer have no self confidence have no caloric have no brave brave bravery okay and always in fear of her husband other men of the society and the bright topos that are embroidered on the cloth they are very brave they are full of confidence they are fearless have no tension and have no care of men they have a lot of freedoms okay in their homes the world of green okay that's start the second stanza aunt jennifer's finger aunt jennifer's fluttering through her wool finding even the ivory needles hard to pull The massive weight of uncle's wedding band sits heavily upon Aunt Jennifer's hand. Okay, ceramics wool pool band hand. Uncle's feeling. This is the alliteration, flattering. Okay, the first letter F is repeated. Okay, in the next also flattering. The Aunt Jennifer's feeling flattering. Flattering. You can say the vibrating, or you can say uh, trembling. Okay, and when first fingers flattering, trembling through her wool. Okay, doing the uh, embodying vibrating, trembling because of the fear. Okay, because Aunt Jennifer is very feared. Okay, in her afraid of her husband, afraid of her father-in-law, brother-in-law, any other persons. Basically, uh, of her husband because of that reason, she is so feared. I have no confidence. That's why. He has a lot of burden on his own, in on head, on heart, and that's why ivory needles hard to okay pull from the cloth, from that cloth. It is it means she is very being uh, old, and that's the reason he is very weak, and also having a lot of burden of the marriage life. He can't pull out the pull. It means. 
the poet compared the strength of and the confidence of a lady with the tiger okay. in the second stanza jennifer is so so of a single needle from a cloth and that time when when she trying to pull out the needle okay her fingers is vibrating his fingers is trembling the massive weight of the trembling the words show the lose of her confidence okay loss of confidence the massive weight of uncle's bending band massive or heavy weight of uncle's wedding band wedding band to refer to the responsibility of the sit heavily upon aunt jennifer hand okay and because why the finger is vibrating why she can't pull out the needle from the cloth that's why because her, her hands have a lot of weight of her married life okay and the in the wedding band you can say the bangles okay in our own culture that is a symbol okay see weight of angus wedding band sit heavily upon aunt jennifer hand and the responsibility of her, her married life is so heavy they are always in her hand they are a burden they are a, a weight on her hand that's why when she tried to pull out the needle okay her fingers is so weak and start the trembling okay let's start the stanza of the point when aunt is dead her terrified hands will lie still ringed with orders she was mastered by the tigers in panel that she made will go on pensing proud and unfed and afraid okay in the last in the, uh, the poet has clearly compared with the tiger and the aunt jennifer okay uh, poet just uh, explaining here the responsibility never okay mac free uh, any woman after the marriage after her death also okay after her death okay she she will not free from that uh, burdens so aunt jennifer is dead okay after her death her terrible uh, terrified hands terrified they are terrified they are vibrating they are trembling house they are uh, they have not confidence her terrified hands mind with also ring with they are covered with they are uh, deal with all deal she was mastered by because they are so heavy child they are so suffered with the old deals old deals with the bad experience of the life bad experience of her married life she was mastered by okay they because you can say the uh, that body of aunt her her hands are lie and they are they expect all the suffer of them okay during her life they are not free from that or deals okay the tiger in panel she had she made will go and pensing proud and afraid the poet is just saying that aunt jennifer will not be else free after her death but the tiger he made on the panel panel on the canvas on the clothes they are they are pensing pensing they are proud of their freedoms and and afraid it means this is the inner feeling of aunt jennifer she want okay moving just like the tiger want proud want of her own dignity own self respect and want of total freedoms and free from any fear that's the religion they are the an inner feeling of aunt jennifer she would be just like the tiger who okay in all forest so proudly with a dignity with a uh, caloric certainty with caloric certainty okay brave confidence without any fear and jumping or whatever he want to go but same the same here a woman okay after marriage she can't okay she can't uh, go anywhere okay without the permission of the husband she always trying to fulfill always she can't get any and always in burden always in tension and the tension the burden the old deals the bad experience of her married life always suffered her and the never 
okay stop chasing after the death of a woman okay that is the the poems prancing and proud this is a little use of alliteration okay so you will diligent also given the present you will do all the question answer of the poem denizens and calvary calvary word symbolize the uh, equality okay gender equality you can say in this poem it means the poet has, uh, the poet has expectation have the expectation okay to get the same rights same things as a man have it means the he want to freedom from the negation okay he expecting for gender equality okay the tiger you can say in this line the tiger okay never afraid of never afraid of a man because the tiger is a gender uh, male and man is also man so same like he want to she want to be of so fearless but uh, never throw the all the responsibility of uh, married life this is the then for a woman she always suffer of them and at last be uh, go, get the death okay but responsibility always pick up them so you will do some answer given after the chapter if you have any doubt you can ask me okay thank you